name is Gabby Mendelson, and I have the honor of directing Tribes for the Dionysus Theatre Company. Um, it's a very new place, so not many people have heard about it, but it is amazing. It centers around a family in England, and their youngest son is deaf, and he's grown up not knowing how to sign, but to simply lip read. And through the play's progression, he ends up meeting someone who does sign, and his world is opened up. And that's the basic premise of Tribes, but beyond that, it's about human beings needing to be heard and listened to. And that's the essence of the show. So uh, I play Billy. Uh, Billy's the uh, Billy's the youngest child. is is uh, deaf. So for me, that involved having to learn how to sign, uh, getting the voice right, um, always making sure that if I was um, if a character had a line toward me, I was able to read their lips, uh, that sort of thing. At the same time, it's just a comp just such a complex show emotionally. Hi, I'm Brian. I play Daniel. Um, I think what's a challenge about Daniel is uh, the voices that he hears. Uh, as an actor, it, it puts a layer in that you don't normally have. Like, it's not something you think about. And to be able to get them there to be real in the scene is just something that you have to keep working for and working for. And, you know, working with Gabby, even now after the second weekend, it's like, all right, how can we make this more real? How can we keep working this? And I think that's why I love it so much. Hi, I'm Phil. Uh, I play Christopher, uh, the father of the family. And one of the things that I really like about the character is the fact that he tries really hard to, um, to make his children successful. And he wants them to be successful, but he knows deep down that, that they're failures that he has trouble overcoming. So I think you know, that struggle for me um, is, is a big challenge uh, as, a, as an actor. Um, and as a character role in Christopher, so. My name is Dawn, and I play Beth, the mom, in this play. Um, it's been really a lot of fun. I mean, it's the dynamics of the play with all the shouting and people talking over each other was a real interesting aspect that I haven't experienced before. I also am a sign language interpreter, so I was able to use what I knew there to help everybody get a little idea about deaf culture and, and the community, as well as teaching them the signs that they needed to know for the show. So it, it kind of combined two things that I love, theater and sign language in one, so it was a really great experience. So my name's Mariah Parrott, and I play the role of Ruth. And Ruth is, I connect to her on a lot of levels because we're both kind of aspiring singers, like we sing and do music and uh, a little bit extra at times. But she's also very much, if there is another outsider in the show outside of Billy, she's also kind of an outlier being the middle child. And that's definitely very clear um, in the family dynamic. And my name is Vanessa and I play Sylvia. Um, the best thing about portraying this character is Sylvia is this vibrant person. She knows what she wants and she is willing to do whatever it is to get that. And it's not only her personality that I admire, but it's also just, you know, who she is and what she does, her actions as a character. It's a really beautiful thing to watch. People have asked me, why do I do this? Why do I spend so much time doing something that I don't even get paid for? So the simple answer is that I absolutely love it. Um, the reason why I love it is I think it is the ultimate expression of being human. It allows us as a group to explore, you know, the human condition. It allows us as a group to delve into questions that might not have an easy answer like as a family why do we unintentionally hurt each other or you know why are we at this place at this time um, in this political arena whatever it might be it also allows us to connect without technology um, you can't do this superficially you really have to explore who you are and you really have to allow yourself to connect to others and it's something that without the art I 
feel like we'd be lost. It's a part of us that is maybe a little bit beyond paying the bills and doing that. It is, it is love in that essence. So that's kind of how, why I do it. I meet these amazing people who give of themselves selflessly to do this. And um, then when I have the audience there and they of course are also giving of themselves and it really is absolutely amazing. So that's why I do it. We are family, ties that bind but sometimes fray. We'll meet people in our lives. They'll hear our voice, they'll become our tribe, and they'll